Back here on the Mohawk River Trail, if you walk straight ahead, you have Price Chopper Grocery Store. You have a car wash. That's another thing Rome is getting saturated with is car washes. Whatever happened to people that just can use a bucket, a brush, and a garden hose and wash their car at home? Now everybody's got to go to a car wash. Uh... That's the cell phone tower they just put up, and I thought they were going to put it over in this section. Maybe they still are going to build something in here, but to me it looks more like another city park. I mean, they have been landscaping it. Or they're going to use it as a dumping ground for landfill. I don't know what they're doing with it, but that's the uh, cell tower. And that is one very hot, bright sun. Not the first time we've had this hot weather in the middle of April. But according to the weather reports, it is because nobody can recall the weather from a, a couple years ago. And nobody cares to actually look it up. They figure, eh, a news reporter is saying that this is... Uh, the first time, so it must be true. That's how people look at news reporters. They are honest. Yeah. <laughs> honest, huh? If you think a news reporter is honest, you got issues. Jogger. And this is the new section of trail they just opened up. Once again, you got a nice view of a marsh, but uh, again, power lines kind of ruin it. Like I said, if, uh, power lines. Wherever there's a nice view, there's got to be power lines. It kills me. What also kills me is, like I said, we're in the uh, year 2023, and we still have power lines. <laughs> I don't see environmental lobby groups doing anything. I'm not sure if these are wild or if somebody just planted them, put some seeds in here. I don't know of these flowers. Maybe somebody planted them. There's a whole bunch of them. Maybe they are wild. Take a walk by the river. And the water level got much lower. The water level was right up to here just a month ago. Now it's gone down, which it does every year. It gets starts getting shallow. In the uh, summertime, you can walk right across without getting your feet wet. And that water is really cold.
the sun right in the middle of the two of the tree. It's a single tree, but it's actually two trees, if you get my meaning. And I really wish they had more of these trees in the park because they just make it look really cool. And sometimes there's a lot of fishermen around here. Ooh, firewood. Huh. Well, that gives me a good idea for tonight. Huh. <sighs> Might as well use it. I mean, all they're going to do is leave it here and let it rot. Huh. Kind of sad when they cut a big tree like this. <sighs> you can you can't see the tree rings with your own eyes, but you're it's amazing what a camera can see. And you can see the tree rings. Look how they're so dark around here. Nice and light, nice and light. But for some reason, right in this area, the tree rings are really dark. Oh, maybe something geologic happened. You see, like right here, the tree rings are very dark. Interesting. Here, you can see them more. See how they're dark? Got a couple dark lines here. Then nice and light, then it gets dark again right in here, so some activity must have happened. Flooding, maybe a drought, who knows.